Hello, welcome to another video tutorial for Blender for Dummies Second Edition. I'm Jason Van Gumster, the author of Blender for Dummies, and uh, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on using arrays. This is associated with Chapter Five in the book. Specifically speaking, we're going to work with making a staircase. Now you can make your own step, but I happen to have one available for you. You can get it from the website or the DVD. Uh, I'm going to load it up, and it's called Start. So uh, spiral staircase start the uh, spiral staircase start. I'll load that up, and this is our spiral staircase starting point. If I tab into this, I can look in very simple sort of model going on here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an array here. First thing, if I do that, sorry, come here. There we go. So I have an array. Now, if you looked at one of the other tutorials, you might see that. That's an array, and you can say, all right, well, I don't need this. I need it to be in the z-axis, so I'll set that to 0, and I'll set the next one here, which is z, set that to 1. But the problem is that it's not, <laughs> it's not a staircase because it's, well, not much of a step. How can I stand on the next ones of these? I want to rotate these. So the relative offset isn't going to work for us. What we're going to use is an object offset. So I want to get rid of this temporarily. Uh, and we're going to create our new object. Object's going to be right here at the center point. So if you don't have, if your mouse cursor is sitting over here somewhere, uh, hit Shift S and say cursor to center. So it's in the right spot. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an empty. So Shift A, add, and we're going to go down and pick empty. And now we have our handy dandy little empty here. It's just a set of axes so we know a certain location and position and is named empty. So switch back here. What I'm going to do is go back and make our modifier now. So add modifier, array. I'm going to take off the relative offset because I don't need it. What I want is the object offset and here I'm going to choose empty. Now since empty has, has the same rotation and location as our step, it's obviously not going to do anything. But if I move this up you can see that there's a piece locked to it. Now, if I select my thing here, make it more apparent, I'll make a count of six. Now when I select my empty and move it, I have a bunch of pieces growing off from it. How slick is that? So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to move my empty up in the z-axis. I'm going to move it, so G, Z, and I'm going to move it up. And I think moving it two units is the right way to go. So if I move it and I say, if I hold control, it'll snap, or if I just type 2, so it's moved up 2 units. But I still have, essentially this is the same as the, as the relative offset, because nothing's rotated yet. This is where it gets awesome. I can take my empty right here, and I'm going to rotate it in the, around the z-axis. So I hit R for rotate. Now, let's take it back here and take a look at this. If I rotate in general, you get these really wacky thing going on here. Now this is obviously not a not a great staircase design if I did it this way, but if I do it in the z-axis, all of a sudden I have a very cool spiral staircase happening here. And let's say we rotate this 30 degrees in the z-axis. So again, you can look down here and see in the bottom right left corner here and see it, but I'm just going to type 30 and then you start my steps start rotating up. Now what I want to do here is I want to see if I can't get this fixed up a little bit better. Because I already have my staircase growing. Now all I have to do here is I can turn on merge. If I wanted to I can grab my empty, pull it up and down. You can see it start to merge and do cool things there mixing with it. Sometimes it works better than others but basically what you can do is you can at this point add as many steps to your staircase as you want and it grows all you want and uh, with a little bit of style and a little bit of adjustment you can get something that looks like the end piece right here so here's the end of the tutorial and we have ourselves a spiral staircase all nicely merged and seamed together with our offset put together it's 20 steps tall and this one has a nice little uh, guardrail on it so, there you go. Using the array and an empty, you can do some very awesome stuff.